How are you everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do a trailer reaction to a film called Brothers, which is on Amazon Prime. Uh, it stars Brendan Fraser, Peter Dinklage, Josh Brolin and Glenn Close. Now I'm a massive fan of Brendan Fraser. He's been out of the limelight for a very long time. Um, hid away from Hollywood for very good reasons. Hollywood's blacklisted him. They were absolute bellends to him. And I'm going to go into that after the trailer reaction um, because I think that guy needs the biggest comeback and a praise for what he's doing today. I watched a film with him recently called The Whale. Absolutely brilliant film. If you've not seen it, I'd highly recommend. He basically plays his character that's so obese he can't actually move and he just eats and eats and eats and he's disconnected from his daughter uh, and he's trying to reconnect with her because he's been told that if he keeps on continuously eating he's going to die. And he just doesn't seem to care. And the film is very, very... It's a very good film. Very heartwarming. Very sad. So we're going to go into this trailer reaction. See what it's like. I also like Josh Brolin and uh, Glenn Close. Peter Dinklage. Eh, he's alright. <laughs> what the hell? Where are my emeralds? What's the hold up? Make an arrange. Uh, sorry, I bet a lot of people want to do that to him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Some families have a long line of dentists or lawyers. We had a long line of felons. That's me. The big ugly one is my twin brother, Moke. I had the plans, he had the hands. Freeze! No, 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 no! We just bought a house while we're having a kid. Bro, come on. I am finished stealing shit. Let's do this one and split. I have to take it down. One, One two, two, three, Dracula. Man. We can go two out of three if no, you want. Get on the floor. I just feel like Wolfman would beat out Dracula. Wolfman's once a month. Dracula is all the time. Use your head. <laughs> this is a new beginning, huh? Can we have some bad time? <laughs> 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 All right. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh. 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 You were gone 30 years. I can apologize only so much. You haven't apologized at all. Why are you back now? The emeralds worth about four million. I got a plan. What it takes out of us. It's a terrible plan. Suck on my balls. Don't make me come back there. I am just dead. I love it. <laughs> that looks good, that Ethan Cohen. Yeah, that looks. Oh man, yeah, I want to, I want to see that. I hope, I hope there's a lot more Brendan Fraser. I really, really do love Brendan Fraser. That looks actually quite. I, yeah, that looks really good. I, I like the look of that. That looks really, really good. Um, oh man, that looks. The, the 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 bit with the um the monkey reminded me kind of uh, you know the film with Clint Eastwood any which way you can and lose uh, great films those um but yeah um that looks good I definitely want to watch that that looks good uh, it looks really good that and yeah um Josh Brolin I, I like Josh Josh Brolin and it's so nice to see Glenn Close come back as well. Um, this looks this looks very 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 promising um, from the trailer. I like yeah I like it. Um, but I, as I was saying before the trailer uh, reaction, um, Hollywood with Brendan Fraser. They just treat the guy like absolute 
he was basically sexually abused um, and he, he, he called out on it and no one believed him and Hollywood blacklisted him even some of my friends were going what happened to Brendan Fraser and I was like I don't know he's just disappeared and I, I love Brendan Fraser he's fantastic I loved him in The Mummy um, the third one wasn't as good but I still liked it in many ways but there's a lot of issues so he, he disappeared from Hollywood um, because he was sexually abused and Hollywood didn't believe him uh, but I'm going to go into this um, basically what happened and reading this offline uh, what happened to Brendan Fraser um, it is believed Fraser was blacklisted by Hollywood because he was claimed to be sexually abused by the former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association HFPA Philip Burke um, in his memoir with signs and wonders Burke recounted he pinched Fraser's ass but in a GQ article from 2018 Fraser recalled it was much more than that um, his left hand reaches around grabs my ass cheek and one of his fingers touches me in the taint which is basically between the butt cheeks and he starts moving around Ugh. He described having never spoken about this incident publicly until then for risk of humiliation or damage to his career. Eventually he was able to remove Burke's hands. I felt ill. I felt like a little kid. I felt like there was a ball in my throat. I thought I was going to cry, he said. That's absolutely awful. Uh, Fraser's reps asked the HFPA for a written apology, but Burke admitted no wrongdoing and said Fraser's account was a complete fabrication. Yeah, whatever. The actor told GQ the incident made him retreat and feel reclusive. He became depressed and wondered if the HFPA had blacklisted him. I don't know if this carried disfavour with the group, with the HFPA, but the science was deafening, he said, adding that he was rarely invited back to the Golden Globes after 2003. What absolute bellends. His career deteriorated, his marriage broke down, and Fraser faded into obscurity. It's absolutely disgusting that. I, I, I believe Braden Fraser. I believe that there's a lot of people in Hollywood with power and money that do these things and get away with it all the time. It's just absolutely, there's, there's so many stories that just get clean slated. And there's victims that fall like into obscurity. I believe Brendan Fraser, <laughs> I do, because there's many like him in Hollywood that have been had no sorts created to them. In Hollywood, there's people with money behind them, powerful people that do things, and they get away with it. And there's the victims, you know, they, they get to live a life of, you know, you're a liar. Um, and Hollywood blacklisting half of them, Brendan Fraser, I feel bad for the guy. I, I trust, you know, that he's telling the truth just disgusting anyway what do you guys think of the trailer itself i like it it looks funny um it looks good um i, I think he also brendan fraser he had he had an accident as well it was on the set of the mummy i think he had his vocal cords kind of fixed he had a partial knee uh repaired and he had spinal injuries that he had to repair so the guy's been through a few things so ah oh, he's a legend i hope he comes back full swing uh, he was great in doom patrol and ah oh, shame that got cancelled it's a weird tv show but i liked it uh, anyway guys you take care and um, subscribe it always helps the channel until then leave your comments down below what do you guys think of brendan fraser and the issues that have gone on uh, what's your favorite film by him um yeah i'm gonna go out now to cycle and work until then take care bye now hey, don't make me come back there i am justice